Let's play some Ardwolf. I have launched Emacs. I know there's like Tin Tin Plus Plus. Uh, I haven't bothered with that yet. I, I still just like using this. So we're gonna tell net to ardwolf.org. Gonna type in my name. I haven't logged in in a bit. And we're gonna try to do a quest or something. So I tend to hang out at this fountain because drinking from the fountain is uh, good for my <laughs> thirst and my um, hunger. Wait, that's not what, what is it, the thing? Gosh, I, it's been so long since I've played. Is it stat? Where's the little card? <laughs> Help! What are the commands again? Well, we're going to try not a quest. There's tasks. Task list. So, I haven't figured out a lot of these. Um, help task? Tasks all. No. <laughs> What's the... Ooh, where's the big list of tasks? Uh, or was it tasks are part of a goal? Okay, they're the goal list. So there's all these goals, which are kind of like quests, but a little different. <laughs> Honestly, it's it's been a little bit since I played, so I don't know how to describe the difference here. Um, but I think I was starting on, was it the Johnny Appleseed one? I started it and then I got very confused. <laughs> so let's just look at, Can we down I should just scroll out. Uh help goals. Mm. Help tasks. Tasks. Goal knowing tasks for I think it was legend for Johnny Appleseed. Yeah, we're we have to visit various US states. Uh so How do I get there? <laughs> I forgot. I guess I can just run to legend. Oh, I'm sitting. Stand. <laughs> run to legend. Uh oh, I've, I'm slightly away from the recall point. Run to legend. There we, there we go. We run in. Okay. So this is a place <laughs> um but i remember being here this is like a train station so union station you stand in the enormous lobby of aylor's central rail station the roof of the station towers above and is decorated with artwork depicting the gods construction workers bustle among the travelers and barriers block off much of the station the way is clear to platform 12 however and your train is now boarding um so if we go east I forgot how to shop. I think it's list. So I, th I think I might have these tickets already. Oh my gosh, I have so much in my inventory, just from running around and doing stuff. Yes, I have my tickets to Virginia, Texas, Mississippi, and Maine. Um, I, various various things. <laughs> okay, so we have that. We'll go north. A, a commuter is here, rushing to take it. The train conductor is here. Do you have a ticket? Please board the train if you do. So that's like a special movement command. So we would board to get on. Um, the caboose. This small rail car is the sleeping quarters, recreation room, and kitchen for the train's work crew. The cook is whipping up some hearty chili while a conductor sips a soda while he reads up on the new regulations. I don't know what kind of fantasy world this is supposed to be, but we have the United States and we have sodas. Uh, bunks line the left side of the car, a small windows at the car's peak to let some light, let in some light. There are pass, there is a passageway to the next car. East. Also glow, hum, a ticket lies here with a cactus printed on it. Did someone like drop their ticket? There's also a ticket with a big X printed on it. Take ticket? 
You take, you get a ticket to Texas. Now I have two tickets to Texas. Yes, I, I guess I have two tickets to Texas. I think someone just dropped their ticket. Um, so there's a cook. Listen to cook. Be careful walking on a moving train. Uh, listen to passenger. Nice view. Listen to conductor. I'm on my break. Go find a conductor on duty. Okay. Well, we can go east from here. So we're currently here. There's a door to the east. The door is closed. So we'll open the east door. Now it's open. We can see kind of what's over there. Um, passenger is here, little girl. The sound of the train hur hurtling down the tunnel soothes your restless soul. Clickety-clack, 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 clickety-clack. The tempo slows as the train reaches its first stop, and the wall wail of the brakes pierces the air. The conductor prepares to let off passengers with tickets to this stop. Through the window you see the deep green hues of a New England forest. There's a passenger here. And a little girl. Listen to the little girl. Is it riding the train fun? And also a translucent conductor. <laughs> I don't know what the different colors mean. So, New England? I, well, would that just be Maine? I don't know if West Virginia would be counted in that. Do I leave here? Next stop, Mississippi. Uh, I don't know if I can leave the train. Do I? Disembark. Disboard? <laughs> Board. Unboard. Oh, what was that? Unboard. Off. <laughs> okay, N never mind then. We'll just uh, open the east door. And look east. Thick handed butcher knife is to the east. Hmm. Free knife? Having stayed aboard the train, you wander into the next car just as the train arrives at the next station. Through the car window, you see the expansive waters of the mighty Mississippi. Through the open door, you hear the calls of Steve Doors working the docks, collecting tickets. So, okay. Yeah, I, how would I, how do I, who ask? Uh, okay, what is our tasks? Legend, task one, help, task one? Help, task, help, task. Tasks all, task, tasks legend. Task list. Nope. Well, I'm on the train and I don't know how to get off. Uh, I could I could look up a Wikipedia, <laughs> not a Wikipedia, a game wiki or something. Oh, I think I give a ticket to the conductor. Oh. Okay. Well, let's just continue exploring the train. So, open east. We'll just keep going. We're not stopping at any of these stops. <laughs> The air is much drier now, and the view from the windows is one of the one of a vast desert stretched before you, seemingly infinite. Cacti dot the horizon, and a tumbleweed is being swept along by the draft of the slowing train. As it comes to a halt, the conductor opens the door, and a hellish wall of hot air sweeps through the passenger compartment. If this is your stop, you'd better hurry. The conductor doesn't seem inclined to leave the door open for too long. So we'll just uh, open the east door again, keep going east. The train has come to a stop at some sort of temporary station. The flimsy construction indicates its makeshift nature. Just beyond the station, you can see a tunnel being drilled into the side of a mountain. So I guess I can still go east. Let's go east. You find yourself walking along the edge of the water and coal car as you carefully move towards the front you catch a glimpse of the tracks ahead it appears another train is headed 
down the tracks towards you. <laughs> this doesn't seem right. Um, I Wait, I could go east, but I can't go west again. West? Look west? What, there's a ticket there? Take ticket? Just get all the tickets. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll go east. <laughs> the sounds of the enormous steam engine that powers this train is almost deafening. A train is straight ahead, barreling down the tracks towards you. This could be a problem. The train's fireman is stoking the huge locomotive. Casey Jones... Oh, pup, boop, pup. <laughs> Casey Jones exclaims, I can't stop her! Save yourself! I'll keep breaking! Casey Jones reaches over, grabs you, and throws you from the engine. <laughs> now I'm amid the devastation of a train wreck. You wake to a scene of fire and chaos. The smoke invades your lungs and burns your eyes. You stand and look at the locomotive, and it is clear that nobody would have survived the collision? Amazingly, the most of the passenger trains seem fine, and people are starting to climb down from their cars in a daze. Lucky to be alive. If it had not been for Casey Jones, you and his engineer would both be dead by now. Where am I? Um. There. Oh, Johnny Appleseed is south of us, and there's some players hanging out. Uh, I can go down, and I can go south. Apple orchard. You find yourself in a quiet apple orchard. Bees are hard at work pollinating the trees, but they are the only things here that are not relaxed. Uh, the lines of trees run off in every direction, and the pleasant scent of apple floats on the breeze. Listen to man. I did not find your apples. I was on a train wreck. Also, I cannot exit from here. Uh, <laughs> now what do we do? Uh, well, I can recall. <laughs> well, uh, I'm gonna run up and north and north and north. And drink from the fountain, just because I don't like getting hungry or thirsty. <laughs> Wish it was that easy in real life. We'll run back to legend again. Um, so, railway still happening. We still got platform 12 going on board the train this time hopefully this train doesn't crash we'll just go to the east oh, open the door to the east and go east okay new england forest so this one i had to look up commands so give main conductor so Okay, we're here. Welcome to Maine. Okay, so that's how you get off of the train. Sometimes these, like, hidden um, movement keywords is hard to understand. Like, I guess, I thought you would give a ticket as you get on the train, not as you get off. <laughs> okay, so the train station is tucked amongst the towering pines of northern New England. Tracks run as far as the eye can see, disappearing between the limbs of distant trees. A logging trail leads off to the north. Okay, so we're supposed to find Johnny Appleseed... Apples? <laughs> There's a moose here. That's good. That's a good sign. Um, a lumberjack leaves north. You see a black moon rise in the east. The train is boarding again. Um, I'll just scan. So we have... Let's listen to the moose. M moo ha me moo moo ma cough cough me moo ma. Okay, ready. Gua. Okay, they're speaking the fabled language moo moo meme, apparently, or maybe not. I don't know. Um, let's listen to a lumberjack. I cut down trees, I skip and jump. I like to press wild flowers. I put on women's clothing and hang around in bars. I hope that's not transphobic. Everyone can wear women's clothing if they'd like. Um, okay, so otherwise, what's nothing really is interesting here. We can go north to the logging trail. 
The cries of a baby bring you to a stop. Here along the trail lies the biggest infant you've ever seen in your entire life. Five storks are gasping for air, <laughs> having just finished the enormous delivery. Um, there's a bunch of delicious blueberries laying here. Take blueberries. I have blue. I just have a very cluttered inventory. Um, let's listen to the stork. I smelled workman's comp from the moment I took this case. Listen to baby. Baby. Paul Bunyan wants a baba. Is that a dad or is that like a bottle? <laughs> um, are we on a quest for a bottle? I don't know. But we need an apple. We're gonna go east. A giant lumber carriage is being pulled down from a from the logging trail. The carriage is apparently being used as a baby carriage for the largest child you've ever set eyes upon. Um, we have a lumberjack, a deer, a lumberjack. There's also the carriage and more blueberries. So I'm gonna take some more blueberries. Can I take the carriage? I can't take the lumber carriage. Mograth questions. My word, anyone have suggestions for someone who hasn't played in 10 plus years to get re-acclimated? I barely remember basic commands. I mean, I've not played in maybe a couple months and <laughs> it's easy to forget. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, where are we at? We can go south or west is where we came from. A clearing. Mother Nature has transformed this glen, glen into a winter wonderland. The snow is deep, well over your head. That, that's pretty deep. And has that pale blue tint that snow sometimes gets in the midst, midst of a frigid winter. Um, we have a deer. We have a lumberjack. Listen to lumberjack. Oh. Do the lumberjack leaf and then babe the blue ox listen to the ox Ooh. okay so, so are we we are in the river uh you find yourself on a river that seems to be running in a circle haven't you seen that rock before and that tree oh dear can i can i leave wait listen to paul well, this doesn't make any sense. Let's see what I can do to fix it. Paul makes one final stab at the land in the middle of the round river, digging the soil there. There, that should do it. Guess we'll have to call it Round Lake from now on. Paul Bunyan has dug a huge crater out of the middle of Round River, creating a round lake. Thank goodness he thought to do that, or else you would have been stuck circling Round River for the remainder of your days. There's also an apple tree here. Uh, can I take apple? You can't take- no, I just want an apple. Pick apple? You have no idea how to pick a lock. There is an apple tree. What do I do with apple tree? Um, listen to the apple tree. <laughs> listen to the tree. No, okay. Um, how does one take- apple from tree oh i got the apple from the tree okay so map wise i can go south to a breakfast tent this clearing is all a bustle and a giant tent has been set up in the middle with stoves and tables for set for breakfast, off to the side is the biggest griddle ever built, with pancakes six feet across cooking on it. I hope it gets cooked all the way through. There are deers here. I hear the train man. Where am I? Um, do I go s south? It seems that Paul and Babe have been tramping around the wilderness of Minnesota. Wait. I thought I got off in Maine. <laughs> and now their huge tracks have filled in with water, becoming 10,000 lakes. 
this will be a sportsman's paradise when the fish and game show up to take advantage. Uh, listen to more moose. There's two moose here. Listen to moose. Hug moose. I hugged a moose. Um, I can go north and east, so let's go east. Now I'm at the Grand Canyon. Uh, leaning over the edge of the cliff here, you look down at the raging Colorado River. In the distance, you see Paul and Babe with their plow, finishing their work in gouging out this magnificent canyon. Uh, north lumber camp. As day turns to dusk, the lumberjacks slowly file back into the camp, tired from a long day of cut, uh, day, long day out cutting wood. Some of them have already retired to their tents. Some have collapsed on sleeping bags, preferring to sleep beneath the stars. There's also a deer here. Um, Let's see if we can get back on the train, though. So we'll go west. North. Wait, can I go south from here? Oh, no, that's just the river again. Wait, am I stuck in the river? <laughs> Do I have to listen again? Listen to Paul. Dad. Is, is he going to do it again? Okay. Now can I leave the river? <laughs> Can I go? No. I'm just... Okay. Where am I now? I'm there. Um... Okay, we won't go south into the water anymore. We'll keep going... Where was the train? I mean, here's the, the baby Paul Bunyan. Look. I know there was someone calling, like, all aboard. I could also just try to board. Okay, that just brings that up. <laughs> Do I just recall and then run back to the train? Let, let me see. Well, I just ran back. So I'll just get on the train again. Board. Okay. Open the east door. Go east. Open the east door. Go east. This one is Mississippi, so give Mississippi ticket M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I -S 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 to the conductor. You, uh, okay. Okay, we're here. Is this the first time you've seen the muddy Mississippi? You, you dock along the Mississippi River. You disembark and find yourself on a dock. The wide, muddy Mississippi spread out before you. At the end of the dock is a keel boat, and the captain beckons for you to board. The boat is about 50 feet in length, with a single mast amidships. Apparently, propulsion is either wind or poles along the gunnels. So we can go east. There's some catfish. Uh, the catfish says glug, glug, glug. There's a crewman. Crewman says arg. Um, let's see. We'll ignore the people arguing in, in the chat. <laughs> uh, you gingerly board the keel boat, and the captain comes up to greet you. He is apparently of the belief that you are his new crew, and you find yourself among the port gunnel, Pulling the boat out uh, into the river. Without a few minutes, you're heading up the stream on Old Man River. Anytime people are arguing, I just say I like turtles. Um, okay, so anyway. Look. Um, so I guess I'm boating the boat. A breeze has sprung up, letting everyone take a break from pulling. The captain wanders the deck, joking with everyone and offering to prove his expert marksmanship by shooting a shot of whiskey off your head? Oh, I didn't sign up for that. Um, keep going. The crew has begun fishing off the boat as the wind pushes her further upstream. Looks like a fat catfish fry is for supper tonight. Uh, Mike Fink says, Once I w when I was a child, I wrestled a ten-foot catfish. And the captain of the boat is here. 
Oh, Mike Fink is the captain. Stories? You want some stories? Well, stick around a few minutes and I'll tell you all about me and this here river. Well, uh, let's go north. Someone else went north. The crewman went north. The boat is nearing a small, dank town. I'm apparently fighting an alligator. Let me try to finish reading this. Hopefully I won't die. Uh, the captain steers the boat towards the docks, which appear to be in disrepair. Foul odor wafts across the bow as the boat nears the town along this length of river. The bank is littered with the detritus of poverty, empty boxes, broken bottles, and garbage. I am fighting an alligator. Um, the alligator is almost dead, and I am okay at the moment. Um, the alligator is gravely injured. The alligator's at death's door, and <laughs> I murdered the alligator. Uh, okay. What were we doing? We're just, uh, uh, we got here and then immediately just got <laughs> attacked by a alligator. Okay, so besides the alligator, I guess we just go keep going east, right? Or south? Wait, which way did I come from? I thought I was going east, right? And I can't go west anymore, I guess. So we're on the Mississippi River. Um, we can go e east to a seedy port. You step off the dilapidated dock into an even more dilapidated waterfront. This is the ugliest port town you have ever seen. The buildings all seem in imminent danger of collapsing, and even the busiest street is cluttered with garbage. Big rats wander the streets, chasing cats and driving pedestrians up onto the few boards that serve as a sidewalk. The only businesses here seem to be bars and flop houses. Okay, we can go east. There's a more river. You have arrived at a fork on the river. Unfortunately, the left fork, which is from which the Mississippi flows is blocked by tree trunks and the other reminder and other reminders of recent flooding. The passage to the west is clear, but you can't see exactly where it ends up. Well, west is where I came from. Yes, so we'll go south. Uh, there's a lot of rats here. You find yourself in a dark, musty alley. Rats crawl over the trash, and an extremely nasty odor permeates the air. The garbage is piled shoulder high along the sides and several of the piles threaten to topple over and crush you oddly however you notice that someone has planted seedlings along the west side of the alley and they seem to have taken root faint sounds emanate from the south um there is an apple sapling you can also well let's listen to the rat oh can i get on the train here city mortal rats don't talk uh okay kill rat Uh, oh, what? Ooh, I think I'm finding every rat. If rat's kick misses you. Um, I am at 222 health. Though the rat needs a hospital. I'm... Okay, I'm finding another rat. Um, do I have any potions? I drank a potion. I don't know what that po That's my concept. Uh... Drink healing <laughs> health. Okay, I did drink a healing potion. Uh, maybe don't fight every rat. <laughs> There's still a lot of rats. They're all trying to kill me. Do I have more healing potions? I don't know how many healing potions I have. Because I'm consistently at half health. Drink healing? Oh no. Heal. Help. <laughs> uh... How many rats are left? There's four four rats are left? Okay, can I... I flee from combat. I have an auto-flee setup. You can kind of set a... a uh, <laughs> threshold. Okay, don't, don't try to murder the rats. I thought I was good enough. <laughs> but... Okay, there's my scorecard. It's score to get this. Oh, murph. Okay. Level 14! Couldn't kill rats. Can I go down there and then just not kill the rats? I'm just going to take apple from sap. 
I did a good... They were calling all aboard here, right? Like, my board train. No. No. I mean, there's message boards, but... Um... Run. I can't run to Legend. I have to recall to do that. Um... I don't know if I'm supposed to just recall each time, but we can do that. Run to legend again. So we have two two apples board. And we'll open east, go east, open east, go east. Uh this one's the Mississippi. This one is for cactus. Die. What is this one? We have what Texas and West Virginia. So I guess this is Texas. To give Texas conductor. Okay. Howdy, welcome to Texas, a dusty train station on the edge of the Texas desert. This train station stands on the edge of the hot, dry wilderness that is Texas. Men on horseback and ladies in carriages move through the dusty streets. To the west, a trail leads off onto the hot sands of the desert. So, um, we can go west, we can listen to the coyote. It just goes, how? West, cacti dot the landscape along both sides of this trail. The sun beats down on your head, making you long for a nice cold beer. But I don't like beer. Um, to the west, the trail snakes into a deep canyon. To the north, the trail rides up over a hillock, hillock and disappears in the bright, barren landscape. Only... Okay, I don't... Stop talking, peoples. Okay, we're gonna go... Let's just scan. Uh, we got tumbleweeds. We got rattlers. But there's four of them, so maybe I shouldn't attack the vermin. Um, let's go west. You have found yourself in a box canyon. Unfortunately, several rattlers have found themselves in the same tight location. One would be best advised to watch his or her step here, or their step. Um, take tumbleweed. Listen, tumbleweed. Uh, bounce, bounce, and tumble too. <laughs> okay. Go east, north, through arid. Though arid, the land does support some plant life, and so ranchers have fenced off wide swaths of land for grazing. Here, a post fence runs along the trail. Oddly enough, where the fence currently ends, new holes are appearing, seemingly dug by gophers. But how would they know how to dig post holes? There's another tumbleweed. We'll go west. The dry land spreads before you. The only flora is made up of cacti and tumbleweeds. The fauna consists of coyote, snake, and kangaroo mouse. To the north, water shimmers. Or is it a mirage? We're at an oasis. A, wa a watering hole provides for a welcome respite from the dry, parched desert air. The apple tree grows along the edge, providing much needed shade. There's also a couple of tumbleweeds here. So we'll take apple from tree. I have a Granny Smith apple now. Let's go south, west. Oh no, the wind has whipped up a cyclone. Wait a minute, there is a man riding that cyclone. Is there anything that Pecos Bill can't ride? Pesos Bill can't ride? I don't... I'm not as very familiar with American folklore <laughs> characters. Um, listen to Bill. Pe Pesos Bill riding a cyclone exclaims yeehaw. Okay, we'll go north. Um oh, Isla's holy rift. Okay, I'm being attacked by snakes. Uh or one snake. There's only one rattlesnake, but I automatically am also finding it back. Um I think we'll be okay. I'm at half health. The enemy's at 36%. So, I think, I think we'll be okay. I don't know where Isla's Holy Rift comes from, 
or if that happened because I ran away from some rats. Uh, but now the rattlesnake is dead. Okay, we're in a ravine. The Here, rainwater from the rare storm has cut a ravine through the sands of the desert. Here's some coyotes, and we can go west. A desert stretches out before you. In the distance, it appears that an ancient lake has dried, leaving the flat expanse of a salt flat. There's some more tumbleweeds. Where there's nothing else to do around here. Is this where I came from? Is this the first area? Or was it here? Look for train? Look train. These boots are made from the finest leather. <laughs> Wait, no, it's saying all aboard. Board train. No, not message boards. How do I get on the train? Why are you talking about... Oh, training boots. Okay. <laughs> That's why it's Miss Mercedes. Uh, okay. How do I... How do I get back on a train? If it's even possible. Um, cry. <laughs> okay. We'll just recall. Uh, run to Legend again. We have one more stop, and then I guess we have to run to the train another time so we can go through another train crash and uh, give those apples back. So we'll board, open east, go east, open east, go east, open east, go east. This is the cacti one. This is the mountain one, give Virginia to conductor. Okay. A temporary train station. A temporary depot has been built here, outside the entrance to a tunnel through Big Bend Mountain. The area teams with workers scurrying to keep drilling operations on schedule. To the west is a small office, and to the north is the entrance to the tunnel. With a loud whistle, the train pulls out behind you onto its next stop. Okay, so let's check it out. Mine office. You stand in the middle of a bustling office. The whole operation to build a tunnel for the C and O railroad is being directed from here. Filing cabinets um, line the wall, and a harried clerk is trying to meet the demands of those coming in and out of the office. A salesman here is here trying to sell the project manager a steam-powered drill. We have a miner. Let's listen to the miner. Sorry, no time for idle chatter. Let's listen to salesman. Uh, listen to salesman. Okay, it doesn't know what it is. Listen to manager. Really, the work of two men. Listen, salesman. Did I? Is it? No. Oh, salesman says blah, 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 blah. Okay, uh, we'll go east. We'll check out east over here. A small clearing. A small meadow has been cleared here. The apples for meals have been set up under protective, under the protective canopy of a tall apple tree. Resting workers wander about and nap on the soft grass. We have found the apple already. Take apple from tree. Um... I guess we'll just explore. So north, you stand at the entrance to a newly dug tunnel. In the far distance, you can see workers drilling further into the mountain. When complete, the Big Bend Mountain Tunnel will stretch for a full mile and a half through solid rock. The digging will take a terrible toll, borne mostly by immigrants and freed slaves. Uh, the tunnel continues into the mountain. The natural light of the sun fades behind you, and the passage is lit by torches. Workers trundle past, pushing carts full of rocks. Oh, is this going to be the, um... I'm trying to think of that folklore guy. I forgot his name. <laughs> Go north. A side room has been dug off to the side here to hold equipment for the drilling and for maintenance equipment when the tunnel is complete. Using your imagination, you see the bright light of the locomotive pulling its load through the dark cave and its engine pounding your ears and making the whole mountain shake. 
Uh, let's go to the east. Side tunnel is full of equipment. Boxes of explosives are stacked along the wall. Mining picks are drilled to the ceiling. The air is musty, and motes of dust from the drilling explosions fill the air. Okay, we'll go back. Oh, yeah, John Henry. Um, there is a commotion in this room. Apparently, the management has brought in a steam-driven drill to do the work of the men. One giant of a man, however, has challenged the drill to a contest. John Henry has taken up two 20-pound hammers and is drilling through the stone at a frantic pace. Listen to John. I wonder if I'm winning. Can you find find out? Um, site manager overseeing. I don't know. How do, how do I find out? How would I go about finding that out? <laughs> There's a loud hammering. Look. Hammer. Okay. I, I don't know. I might have to just leave here. <laughs> I have some apples to return. Bye. Run to legend. North, north board. Open. Oh, the doors are still open. East, 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 east. Open, east. East, east. Uh, and we experience another plane, uh, train crash. Can I go anywhere from here? I thought it would just do it. Maybe I go west. Something doesn't seem right. I can't go anywhere. Maybe it just has to play out. Whistle cord. Okay. I am at the train wreck. I guess we'll go south. Um, and then give apples to man um give man apples inventory i better have those apples why am my inventory so full I, wait did i miss an apple i grabbed blueberries where's the other apple did I not grab the other apple what happened <laughs> I have a Granny Smith McCoon Macintosh. Uh, okay, Maine was the Macintosh apple. The McCoon apple is from Mississippi. The Granny Smith apple is from Texas. The Red Delicious apple is from West Virginia. Did I just not remember to pick that up? Okay, my third train wreck. Now we'll go down. Apples. Nope. Unknown command. Um, <laughs> goals. Nope. Goals legend. Goal legend. Return all four apples to Johnny Appleseed. Say app. Oh, say apples. Okay. You say apples. Johnny Appleseed exclaims, "Congratulations! You found my apple trees." Oh, it took me back to the to city. Uh, you receive an apple press from Johnny Appleseed. Apple Johnny Appleseed shakes your hand. You receive 5,000 gold from Johnny Appleseed. Goal is completed, and I got teleported back to the city of Ilor. So if I go back to my goals list, legend is now done. I have returned four apples, and it only took me about 45 minutes. Well, longer, because I had to go re-retrieve apples, and now I just have extra apples. Actually, do I have those apples? What if I just drop them by the train? Run to legend. I'm just gonna drop apple. What? Oh, no. My apple press crumbled to dust. <laughs> when it's just Drop apple. Drop apple. So I have three apples. Those are just there for the taking. <laughs> Bye. Have fun. Maybe we'll do another quest sometime, but uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll try to get to some programming stuff a little later.